Hello and welcome everybody to YouTube. Alright, this is a little tutorial on something I just figured out. If you look at my other video about the bio system on the computer on the HP, well anyway, I'll show you what I did wrong. I cannot believe I did a complete factory restore thinking that was going to help that. But if you go ahead and look at the other video, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'll leave it up for about a, a few days and then I'm going to go ahead and remove that one. But anyway, this is what I did. If you look, right here. Okay, actually right up here I got a new video card. I had it up here on this video card, the new one. Uh, that's the NVIDIA. Anyway, this is the onboard video card. But what I did, uh, to make it boot up to the BIOS system, I had... I can't believe I did this. But anyway... This was up here to the DVI so it wouldn't boot up. It would just show a blank screen and then it just go to welcome screen and then load up. Anyway, this is how you do it. You take it off this one. You don't plug it up here yet. You keep it on your onboard and I'll show you why. We're going to go ahead and boot up on this one. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start it and I'll show you what to push. You're going to push your F10 key when the flash screen comes up hit your F10 entering setup there we go and there's the setup as you can see uh, what you want to do is use your arrow key go to advance right there if you look down you will see primary video adapter you want to onboard that was the problem. See, I don't want the onboard. Hit enter. And you have a little box that comes up. Move your arrow up to PCI Express. That's the one we want to use. We don't want the onboard right there. We want PCI Express. Okay. Now what we're going to do is hit enter. And that's selected at PCI Express, as you can see. And yeah, I got a 2.9 gigahertz on this one. The other computer, it's a 2.8, and it's quad core, but one terabyte. Blah blah blah. You'll you, you probably know, you can go ahead and look at the video. Anyway, uh, quad core. Yeah, eight gigs of RAM. All right. So what we're gonna do is hit escape. Uh, let's see. We want to save. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Go to F10, save and exit. So F10, save configuration changes and exit now. Yes, just hit enter. And it will boot back up. Which right now, I'm going to go ahead and power the computer off. We don't want it to load up right now. Okay, now I'm going to disconnect the DVI from here on the onboard. We're going to put it back on the, the new video card we got inside, the NVIDIA. Exactly what we're going to... Uh, hold on one second because I don't have a cover that goes for this thing. So hold on uh, one second. Okay, it's all connected tight and good. And later I'll put my VGA back on there for so I can have my double screen here in a little while. All right, we're going to power the computer on and it should show the flash screen now. Let's see what she does. And it should show the blue screen. Bingo, there it is. Now it's doing it. Yeehaw! Oh yeah, that's because I, I held the power button to shut it down remember so that's the only reason it's coming up windows failed to start blah 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 which you probably know that we're just going to start windows normally it'll, it won't do that no more that's because I had to hold the power button to shut it off after we uh, wanted to save those settings so anyway starting windows Microsoft Corporation and anyway that's how you do that so yeah uh, there was a little tutorial on, and it was my 
mess up that I cannot believe I went and redid the whole computer over something stupid like that I cannot believe that but anyway it's working and it's just fine but we're going to let this load up and and I'll go ahead and end the video yeah this is how long it takes but it's not too bad once she loads up she does pretty good actually you know so not too bad all right and it's about loaded gotta wait till that bar up here comes up there it is as you can see that's what I got there up there good computer though for being a quad core 8 gigs of RAM oh this one's only got 640 gig hard drive my bad the other one has the one terabyte all right anyway all right thanks for watching and uh bye bye